Hi there and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to compare between color mixing and music. Yes, music. The color palette will be your orchestra and you, the painter, you will be the maestro. We will be talking about a new way of thinking, a new approach to color mixing. I hope you'll find it interesting. Get closer. Try to imagine that your palette is an orchestra and you, the painter, you are the maestro, the conductor. And these pre-mixed colors here are symphonies, for example. Each color, try to imagine that each color is a musical instrument. For example, maybe the brown is the contrabass, the blue is the cello, the red violin, and so on. You, as a maestro, you want, first of all, to reach a certain level of harmony a certain level of volume. This volume in music, in painting, is called value. What is value? We don't want the cello, the brown, to be too loud and the violin to be too quiet. We want a certain level of harmony, overall volume, correct volume. So, let's say each one of these is a symphony and we want our band, our orchestra, to, to, to reach this symphony, this music. So, we want to get to harmony. Let's say the cello here, we take a little bit from the cello, from the brown, I don't know, maybe a little bit of blue. I see that my color now is much darker than this one, so I need to brighten my color. So I'm taking white. I want to reach the correct volume, like I said. When I say volume in painting, it's value. What do I mean by value? I don't want my color to be louder or much quieter than this one. I want my color to be at the same level of brightness or darkness, the same value. In music, it's volume, overall volume. So we want to reach the same darkness and brightness like this one, like, like the color that we are trying to compare to. So let's see. Let's say my color now is much brighter. So I see that it's some kind of purple. So let's take blue, red, getting closer more blue mm, it's getting closer but still my color is darker than this one so first of all i want to reach the same value the same level of darkness and brightness like this one so now mine is brighter so very fast let's take brown and blue if you want to see how I control the darkness and brightness of the colors. You can see my previous video. I explained a lot of detail there. So please watch the previous video. Now we are at the same, very similar value. Maybe this is a little bit brighter. So I'm taking a little bit of white. And you can see that they are pretty much the same, maybe it's a little bit more blue, this one. Yeah, good enough. So I'm leaving this one. Let's say we want our orchestra to reach this symphony now. So I see that it's some kind of orange. So let's start with yellow and red. So now I can see that my color is much more brighter than this one. So I want to take it down. So if you watch the previous video, you will see which color will bring another color down. So now mine is, I'm not looking at colors. I'm, I'm only judging the brightness and the darkness, the overall volume, like we said. So. Here we reached a very 
maybe a little bit white. So we can already see that my color here is a little bit, it became a little bit brighter than this one. I want to take maybe a little bit of this, a little bit of more red, more yellow. Let's see what happens. Now, the volume is very, the value is very close. You can see that. Maybe this is still a little bit darker. Let's say a little bit blue. Eh, good enough. Very close. Now, let's do this one. I can see it's green. So I'm taking blue and yellow. Maybe I can, I can call it, uh, like we said, cello and violin. They are mixing together now. So, this level, this stage in mixing colors is the stage of reaching the harmony, the correct value, the overall volume. Ah, you can see that it's very close now to this one. Maybe this, is, ha, this has more blue. Yeah, good enough. We are very close, maybe like this, a little bit of yellow maybe. Now mine is much brighter. So it's not a problem. I can take blue, brown, and make it darker. Maybe more yellow, a little bit of red maybe. Let's see, mm, it's getting close. Maybe more blue and more brown, let's say. Let's see this. So, now my color is needs more yellow. So I'm reaching this similarity between the volume, right? The value. My color now is very close to this one when we are talking about brightness and darkness. So now it's the next stage. You, the composer, you, the conductor, the maestro, after telling your orchestra what volume you want and you reached a harmony, an overall volume of the band, now it's time to start to correct the hue, the color. It's like telling the violin, I want you to play a little bit louder. And telling the cello, I want you to play a little bit more quiet, lower. So now it's time to start to control and reach a finesse, like refining the color. So, this one, I can see that this one is a little bit brighter than mine. So, if I take a little bit of white, I like it. It's pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit of blue. Let's say. Yes, it's very similar. You can see. Now, this one, I can see that this one had more yellow. So let's try more yellow here. More violin. Mm, pretty much. Mm, maybe a little bit darker. I will take a little bit. For example, if I say, yeah, very much the same. This one, I can see that it's more blue here. Mine is more yellow. So what will happen if I take a little bit of blue? A little bit. So at this stage, we are making, we are refining. We are making our hue, our color look more similar. So let's say like this, and that's it. You can see how simple it is. Try to think of colors like music and you will see, you will become much better in mixing color and matching colors together. Thank you so much for watching.
See you next time.